you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. What's good YouTube? Welcome back. Today we are going to be playing this uh, rat quick draw deck idea that I didn't exactly have. I saw like a DB rando playing something semi-similar to this and I thought it was pretty cool. I decided to kind of merge it with the Joshua Schmidt uh, hero package or whatever. Because um, it's neat. You can use like Rota to get the DD Warrior or the Stratos. So it's it's like another target. Um, just an interesting little build I came up with. You know, I always I always love the, the quick draw decks. Love playing those types of uh, types of builds. So always fun to try out. Just another a variant on the channel. All right. So I did play in RBT yesterday, but unfortunately I lost in round one. Um, so I ended up dropping. The games were like winnable, but my opponent played well, and I did not play so well, so you know, it happens. We'll get him next time. It's no big deal. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what I was playing, because I plan on bringing it to uh, Ribbit IRL in June to give it another another shot at it, since I feel like um, my loss was more attributable to me than, uh, than my deck. Anyway, with this opening hand, I think we just set everything. I think we just set everything behind the dandelion, and we're feeling good. Because both these back row are chainable. We got potentially a good Caius play next turn with the Dandy. Sometimes it's weird in quick draw though, because you don't know if you want to like hold the Dandy for if you draw the quick draw. So I don't really know. Um, in this situation, I think we just summon Rat Attack. It's probably fine to do that. So that's what we're going for. I'm not exactly sure what this back row could be. Obviously, Torrential is like the worst case scenario, realistically. Uh, looks like it's going to be nothing, though. So our, our opponent just kind of bricked game one. What can we say? It's pretty good for us. Hmm. All right. No matter what they hit, we're getting value here. So that's a nice little plus one for us. Puts us up half a card. As opposed to them being up half a card because they went first and we went second. And we still have this legacy of Yada we could potentially draw into something with. Alright, they're just going to set pass again. I could storm here. I don't really see the point in stuff. I, I could get like real aggressive, right? But I don't. I don't think we need to. It's probably better to just swing with Rat again and just keep the Warrior and the Torrential in my hand. All right, is there gonna be something used here? No, another free fourteen for us then. And then if they have, if they go like set a monster, we can go Legacy of Yada, Storm, Tribute for Caius, etc. Then we're feeling pretty good. But they're not. They just don't do anything. All right, I'm not going to summon another rat. I don't want to play into Torrential too hard. All right, they've got that Trag. Well, it might be better to main phase two Kaius this. Yeah. Let's see, Judgment's the only punish for holding the heavy here, so I'm... I feel like it's fine to hold it. I mean, we could potentially get owned by a Torrential. But I don't feel like it's Torrential. Because I think you would have Torrentialed earlier. That being said, I've been playing around Torrential, so... <laughs> kind of inconsistent thoughts there for me, but I think the way we did this was fine. I mean... We got rid of the Trag. Opponent's foolishing. What, is this going to be a dandy? Is this some kind of quick draw mirror? That's pretty cool. Although they are bricked to hell. I wonder what that, what is in their hand right now. Okay, plague spreader. So this is zombies. And the opponent has left the duel. Truly classic. Well... We can only sit here and hope that they come back. Okay, there they go. All right. 
opponent has returned, they will hopefully be making a play. I could make like Haw this and it would be annoying. Because DD Warrior doesn't out it. <laughs> but it looks like they're just taking the Caius. Hmm, are they gonna go dark end? They should probably pay for their brain control at some point. All right, I will have to remind them. So dark end's no big deal compared to Hades, because we can just out that. All right, I think there's only one monster in my graveyard. So it's gonna get banished. Yeah, we're cool with Dark End here. We're, we're going to be up a lot of cards anyway. Even though they didn't stack for Plague, they still technically spent a card. So they go Dark End, they kill this, they hit over that. And then we have Draw for Turn. We're on six cards plus a token. And they're on five cards. So we're up like... We're up like one and a half cards or something. That's chill. And we still got multiple good normal summons and a storm and a torrential. What? What are you doing, opponent? Summon Dark End Dragon. Huh? This is so bad. Alright, they're setting it all. I mean, I'm just going for the storm here every time. Let's flip the Legacy of Yada first. All right, that's a pretty good draw. Let's activate that Heavy Storm. Do they have the Solemn Judgment? They do. All right, what's the best way to do this? Probably go Crash Rat, get Grand Mole, and then we can like set the other Rat in main two or something. All right, we're cool with that. hit the rat in. Are there any warriors? No. Okay, so we get mirrored. That's fine. And then we go set you. And I'll probably still set the rat. Yeah. Okay, so they're just gonna hit over the token. Another back row. So I could go for Rat Crash. I think Rat Crash is probably correct. We go Rat Crash, get Fossil Dyna after dropping Trag, and then Pitch Plasma to Steel. That's a cool play. I might do that. Is there one warrior or there's zero warriors? There's zero warriors. Okay. I'm going to do this play. And then you go to Grave. We declare effect. Go special out Fossil Dyna. And here we pray no book. Where are they clicking on my Fossil Dyna? Have they not read Fossil Dino? That's kind of wild. Anyway, we're going to try to steal this. I guess they could have Book of Moon. This deck plays like random one-off Book of Moon sometimes. So that would be the punish, but they do not have it. Well, we're pretty chill then here. I mean, Turtle would trade really well with the Dino, I guess. But... Eh. Yeah, Turtle gets Spirit Reaper would be annoying, I guess. That, that's like the one the one thing we really don't want him to top deck right now. I don't know why he keeps clicking on my Dyna. We all know what Dyna does. Presumably. Hmm. I mean, this should, should probably just be GG, though. 
All right, they have a set monster. There's no more Mirror Force, so there's no reason to respect Mirror Force. There is Torrential, so we're going to respect that. Let's swing in with Tragodia. All right, they're going to scoop it up. And I don't think we really need to side. I mean, what, what would we bring in? DD Crows, pretty much just creature swap, maybe a little bit sus against all the recruiters. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would cut for the second crow. Maybe Sangan going second versus zombie is not very good. It's always weird though, because Sangan can search your DD crow. So cutting it to like side into DD crow always feels weird, you know? Okay, this is a very good hand. Holy god. We got Dust Shoot Storm, Card Trooper, Fossil Dyna, Pachycephalo. The tough part is, if he sets a recruiter, if he sets like a pyramid turtle, then Dyna hit over isn't going to accomplish it, so. I think maybe... Huh, how do I want to do this? I got a trooper mill, maybe. And then just don't attack. Uh, we can set this. I might be, I might greed the, the dust shoot. Although, there's a lot of punishes for greeting the dust shoot. I, yeah, let's just flip it. I think going first, it's a lot more tenable to greed the dust shoot. But here, no. And uh, we can see why, because Caius. Although, actually, it would have paid off because he'd have activated brain control or something, maybe. And then we would have just chained the dust shoot. But if he just, like, goes summon Caius... No, 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 yeah. If he just, like... If the set is a zom goblin zombie... Uh, and he just summons Caius, we get mega punished. So, going first, there's not, like, that threat of him just immediately kaising me. So you can just, like, play games if you want in this situation. It's always kind of nuanced to whether you want to do goofy tricks with the dust shoot or not. So the opponent's set monster is a tuner. Which is kind of good, actually, because we didn't have a lot of great outs to... I don't know a uh, pyramid turtle it's also bad though because we don't have a lot of greats outs to a level 5 synchro I guess set Dyna does it I guess so they have dad live no dad is okay yeah dad is extremely live what the f we might have to just go next actually what is this shit what's in their hand if I can get the catastrophe to the grave, the dad won't be alive anymore. Mind control, book of life. Oh no, wait, the dad will still be alive. The dad is just live all game because of that incredible mill that they got. Um, Yeah, let's go next then. We have no way to stop that, no way to deal with that. Wait, why did it, like, unside my cards? What the hell was that about? Book of Moon's pretty good in this matchup. Alright. Well, we're going first, finally, in game number three. And we open just absolute dog. We have drawn Stratos with both of the Stratos targets. And double debris with zero debris targets. Lovely. Um... Alias set book, I guess. It's about all we got. And the next turn, we could try to Stratos pop a back row, but hopefully sets a second one. Nice. All right, this is the only value we're ever getting out of Stratos, so I have to summon it now. Alright, so we're gonna hit that one. And he has dust. Um, yeah, we'll just let that go. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna say no gores if you're setting those two, so we're hitting with alias. Unfortunately both the back row were chainable, which means we don't get the plus one.
Unfortunately, though, the opponent seems to have bricked again. So let's just poke for 19. Poke for 19 set rat seems like a decent play. The punish is like goblin zombie flip torrential, maybe. I don't know. We could just get this rat to go off. Get dandy in rotation. Like we're chilling, so. Uh, brain is not the greatest draw here. I'm not hitting that either. Do I switch to defense on Ailey's? I feel like there's a lot of things that hit over it for free if I switch it to defense, but he might just make a synchro play and hit over it, so I... I don't know. We need to draw a card to make this hand live. We could also have done some, like, throwy plasma play there, but that's just so bad. Maybe if he puts another monster on the field face up. Alright, he does not. Let's draw. We draw Grand Mole. Alright, we could play into Torrential really hard here. If we wanted. And Mirror. Plays into Torrential and Mirror. Okay. <laughs> That's probably bad. We could set a Debris Dragon. Maybe. It's not the end of the world. Uh. Huh. You know what? I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna wait. Seems like both of us bricked in game number three. The best kind of games are played when both players brick, though. It's like a fact. Alright, I'll just set cards. Fortunately, our legacy of Yada doesn't get wing blasted. That would suck. Draw one card in like many turns. Alright, I'm flipping it right now. I want I want a better hand. Okay, that at least does something. I feel like it's highly likely that this is a torrential tribute here. Because he's not been summoning anything. And this is probably like a goblin. Okay, never mind. Now he's setting something. So it could still be two floaters, and it could still be torrential. So we gotta watch out for that, but... Hmm. Nope, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the cards to do plays here. I'm not doing it. All right, tomato gonna be summoned. Is he gonna hit into the alias? He's hitting into the set giant rat. Okay. Huh. What do I do? <laughs> hey, look, we got a dust shoot. This will further complicate the game state, although not really. It'll actually tell me what my opponent has. Um, man, oh man, what do I do? Do I just try to ram to get that dandy into play? I think I might do that. And then, yeah, let's just let's see what, see what happens here. Mirror Force is the worst case, I guess. But we're letting it through, whoops. All right, opponent goes first, so I can't do the dumb Dyna thing, but kinda just wanna get that dandy, you know? at this point. <laughs> Alright. Opponent is DC'd, but will presumably be coming back again. Hey, come on. Where's my dandelion? Ugh, I'm lagging. There we go. Or, wait, was the game just paused because they were gone or something? Anyway, let's hit over this goblin. They're gone again! <laughs> Alright, my opponent needs to fix their internet, first things first. What is going on here? So we're going to try to hit over this, and then... <sighs> Main 2, I don't know what the hell we do. Probably just set the dust sheet. Man, this is bad. Opponent, are you okay? Don't give up, opponent. It's game three. You gotta stay the whole way through here. Alright, get your search. And I'm gonna go set that dust shoot. And it's probably gonna be it. Alright, we're, we're shooting. 
We do be shooting. Probably just gonna take the plague spreader. What on earth? This is so much, like... What am I even supposed to think? Allure, wave... Plague, dad, crow... Book of life, torrential, BFDD. Um... I guess we take dad. We're not we're not we're not gonna lose another game to dad. That was that was not a fun experience. Question is can he kill me with a wave? Um Storm. Yeah, that's really bad. Alright, we'll flip this. Who do I wanna book? I guess the dandy. I mean, he probably just kills me. If it was just Cold Wave, we'd have been fine. But he had Storm, too. So I think we should just be dead here if he plays it right. But the, people will often mess it up, so, you know, we, we should uh, consider that fact. Alright. No more giant rat for me. Like, he might just do something completely stupid, you don't know. <laughs> it should be game. Right? It has to be game. There's no way it's not game. We'll let him play it out. We'll let him play it out, but like... You would have to be an idiot to not hit game from here. I would think. Wish I had Gores or Trag. I'd probably legit win the game if I had Gores or Trag. You know what? Maybe I should just not let them play it out. Because they have Burial, too. Like, what, what even... Is there... There's, like, no chance they screw this up. It's literally not possible to screw this up, I think. Let's just scoop. Let's just... I don't feel like watching them play this whole thing out. Alright, GG's! As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.